Hey girl, so today is going to be a special video because I actually put all my favorite aloe vera hair growth videos into one video. So see this as a aloe vera hair growth compilation. I actually got this idea from a YouTuber called Mercy Gono. She also has some natural hair compilations with all her favorite hair growth videos. So yeah, here is mine. Um, I love aloe vera for my hair. Aloe vera does wonders to my hair. I still use it till this day. So yeah, here are just some some ideas for you to incorporate aloe vera into your hair growth routine to make your hair stronger, longer, and healthier, sis. I'm gonna put some timestamps in the description box so you can see the ways how I use aloe vera into my hair routine. So if you're looking to level up your hair growth game with aloe vera, definitely keep on watching. Hey boo, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna be creating a aloe vera hair oil, okay? So I love aloe vera and I wanted to incorporate aloe vera more into my hair routine, not only as a pre-poo, but also as a product that can stay in my hair. So what better product than an oil to seal in all the moisture? So keep on watching if you wanna see how I make aloe vera oil at home. So I have here an aloe vera leaf that I use for my DIYs, okay? I store it in the fridge whenever I need a chunk. I just cut a piece off and I washed this leaf thoroughly, okay? Because we're going to use the whole leaf, so you better make sure that all the nasty things on the leaf are removed. So I'm going to be cutting the aloe vera leaf in cubes, so I'm going to trim the ends, make sure that is removed, and then I'm going to cut the aloe vera in smaller pieces. I can honestly say that aloe vera helped me with battling hair loss and promoting healthy hair, okay? So that's why I've been using aloe vera so much in my hair lately. Aloe vera has is packed with nutrients and vitamins that promote cell growth. So if you're suffering from hair loss, if you're feeling that your hair is not growing, definitely try to incorporate aloe vera in your hair routine on a consistent basis i have a ton of videos on aloe vera so definitely subscribe if you want to see more of these kind of videos okay so i just cut my aloe vera in little cubes and i am going to use two oils today i use sweet almond oil and jojoba oil because they're my favorite oils to seal in the moisture in my hair because they're so lightweight i don't like to put heavy oils in my hair to seal in moisture so i always tend to go for those two particular oils and i put 250 milliliters of the almond oil and then 250 milliliters of the grapeseed oil in my cup but you can definitely use less okay i used a lot because i have a lot of hair and we use it in our household so that's why i needed a big batch right but if you want to use this for yourself only just put like 100 milliliters of each oil into the measuring cup um, because you don't need that much oil and you can also choose an oil to your liking you don't need to use these oils particularly you can do any oil that you like okay so i'm going to put those oils into my pot and i'm going to let that heat up with the aloe vera cubes and I'm going to let that simmer for about 20 minutes on a low heat. And by the way, there are several ways to create aloe vera oil. This is just the way that I'm doing it now. Um, the, the question that I know I'm going to get for sure is, do you need a preservative, right? And honestly, for this oil, I don't use a preservative, but definitely check out the comment section because I'm going to pin a comment there that will give you more information why I don't use a preservative for this oil. So definitely scroll down and check my comment, okay? So it's been 20 minutes and the aloe vera looks like this. It's definitely fried. It actually smells good, like it smells yummy. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not going to eat it. I'm going to strain it. So I'm using a cheesecloth and a big bowl, bowl because girl, this mixture is piping hot. So make sure you do this carefully so the oil don't splashes anywhere because the oil is really hot, okay? So here I'm just transferring the oil mixture into a beaker and I'm going to let this cool down for like 
30 minutes or so. And this is how my mixture looks after 30 minutes. And here I'm adding some drops of rosemary essential oils because rosemary is amazing for scalp stimulation. And rosemary essential oil is also very known for promoting healthy hair growth, but you can use any essential oil that you like. You can add lavender. Ooh, that would smell good, okay? You can add peppermint or tea tree oil for scalp stimulation. You can add citrus, grapefruit. You can add anything that you like, okay? You can fully customize this formula. <laughs> so here I'm just putting the oils into my glass bottles that I use to store my hair oils. And when it's cooled down completely, completely, I'm adding the droppers to it and yeah, this is the finished result it looks super super cute it's like glowing i don't know why it's glowing like that but this is how it looks in real life so it's like the color is amazing it's not see-through but i don't mind okay so i'm going to put this oil to the test immediately so this is my hair freshly washed and i'm going to put a protective style in my hair i'm going to put like four braids in my hair and then later i'm going to rock my hair in this braid out and by the way this was the next day actually so this is the oil the next day and oh my gosh it smells great it smells like oil mixed with rosemary essential oils okay it doesn't have a weird smell or anything i'm going to make sure that my hair is properly moisturized for my protective style so i'm putting some jamaican black castor oil water in my hair first to refresh my hair and then i'm adding my shea moisture strengthen and restore smoothie I love this one for braids, okay? It moisturizes my hair so well. So I'm going to put those two products first in my hair and then I'm going to seal all of the moisture in with my amazing DIY aloe vera oil. I love to make this oil this way. This is the method I prefer. Like I said, it's been three weeks since I've made this oil and my oil is holding up great. It smells the same, it looks the same, it has a nice scent and it still works on my hair. Here. So that's why I didn't feel the need to put a preservative in my oil and that's why I feel comfortable sharing this recipe with you guys because I tested it, I tried it and it's amazing, okay? But I do store my oil in a cool, dark place. You can even store this in the fridge. Um, if you live in a hot climate, I definitely advise you to store your oil in a fridge because I wouldn't feel comfortable to store this oil in a very hot heated area right so yeah that's just my advice show you how to move how to move with my body come hit me with your touch and make me wanna say damn and yeah you know what's up ain't nothing i won't do i won't do for your body so give me all you got right now So now that my hair is all braided up, I'm going to let that sit like this for a few days until my hair is completely dried. And then I'm going to unravel these braids and wear my hair as a braid out for a few days. Then have wash day again and do the same routine all over. And let me tell you, girl, my hair has been loving this routine so much. I don't know if you saw my previous hair loss update video, but... Basically, what I was saying is that aloe vera completely stopped my hair loss. I am not kidding, guys. Using aloe vera on my scalp and hair strands consistently, keywords consistently, helped me so much to grow out my hair and to battle all my scalp issues that caused me this stupid hair loss but i'm done with it now and girl it's all thanks to the aloe vera i'm so so happy i'm so happy and my hair looks really shiny and feels super shiny and soft so yeah definitely give this diy recipe a try it's so easy to make and your hair will thank you for it okay okay so thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next one bye <music>
Hey boo, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Amber. In this video, I'm gonna put fresh aloe vera in my naturally curly hair and leave it in for 24 hours, okay? This was the first time that I tried this experiment and the results were actually pretty shocking, okay? So definitely keep on watching if you wanna see how it went. So the first thing I'm gonna do is prepare my aloe vera, right? So I'm gonna cut the sides because they are very sharp, we don't need them. And then I'm going to cut the leaves in smaller pieces because I'm going to scrape out the gel. And for those who don't know, like the benefits of aloe vera are incredible for skin and hair. Aloe vera contains vitamins A, C, and E, and all these vitamins contribute to cell turnover, which promotes healthy cell growth and shiny hair. So this really strengthens and repairs your hair strands. It also has vitamin B12 and folic acid in it. Um, and both of these components can keep your hair from falling out, which is a plus because girl we don't want to have bald spots i need my edges okay okay and besides that it also calms an itchy scalp so if you suffer from dandruff aloe vera is great for you and if you use aloe vera consistently on your hair you might see a tremendous reduce of hair breakage and hair loss so that's why we're doing this experiment today okay <laughs> so yeah this is my hair um i just have a leave-in conditioner in my hair i believe my hair is about four days old at this point it wasn't a protective style it wasn't braids so i just unraveled my braids so as you saw earlier i just cut the aloe vera in pieces and scraped out the gel but that's definitely something you should not do okay because the application process was a mess okay so see this is what i'm gonna put on my hair and you can see all the big chunks of aloe vera sitting in my hair and it just didn't work out but i just kept on doing it because i was not really thinking about it but later i realized girl this is not the way i supposed to be putting this aloe vera gel in my hair there must be another way sis but yeah i first i tried it like this but don't do it because you will end up with having chunks of aloe vera in your hair for the next seven days or so until the next wash day so just washing my hair once with shampoo and conditioner definitely did not help it's about a week later and i still have pieces of aloe vera in my hair so don't do it this way and you will see in the next clip that you know i still had so much aloe vera left but there was just no gel so i figured let me just put all of that goodness into the blender and just blend it you know i should have done this like this the first time around <laughs> because you will end up with a very foamy liquid but the thing about this liquid is it's still slippery so it still has all the benefits of the aloe vera but it's just so much easier to applicate on your hair it's less messy and you will not end up having a ton of chunks of aloe vera left in your hair for the next upcoming weeks or so so yeah definitely advise you to do it this way and as you can see it's still like slimy and all that kind of stuff so that's basically what i want i just need my aloe vera to be uh slippery so i can apply it on my hair with ease like this girl look this is so much better right <sighs> i should have done this the first time around i'm telling you don't do like me So I just applied all the aloe vera gel in my hair. Girl, I have a lot of hair. That's why I use the whole leave, but you don't need to use the whole leave if you don't have a lot of hair, okay? So I still had a little bit left, which was perfect for my edges, my hairline, and my nape area in the back because that's where my hair tends to get very dry. And I did suffer from postpartum hair loss, and that's why my hair in the front is more prone to breakage and prone to dryness. So yeah, I'm just going to put a little bit more on that area and because this is going to sit in my hair for 24 hours i'm gonna put two shower caps on because it just didn't work out with one <laughs> and also because i'm gonna sleep in this stuff so yeah i don't want the aloe vera to drip all over my 
pillowcase and all that kind of stuff so yeah anyway so that's what i'm gonna do for the next 24 hours luckily it was the weekend it was a saturday afternoon so i'm gonna sit with this bonnet on until sunday afternoon and i didn't have anything planned which was perfect for this experiment okay so see you guys in a second in the shower the next day so here we are in the shower it is the next day and the front actually has completely dried and the back as well but the rest of my hair was actually still soaking wet and soggy very soggy and wet and slippery and slimy because there was a lot of aloe vera gel in my hair but my ends though my ends actually felt very good. So that was already a plus. So I'm gonna just quickly rinse out the aloe vera and rinsing it out took a minute because the aloe vera became like wet again because it had dried almost completely and it turned very slimy and I just almost had to scrape the gel out of my hair. It was just a very funny feeling. I don't know, never experienced this. So it was kind of weird but after about five minutes my hair felt so good like i'm telling you my hair felt very very soft and strong especially but because i saw a ton of aloe vera chunks still in my hair i went ahead and just shampoo my hair real quick with my shea moisture jamaican black castor oil shampoo okay so this has apple cider vinegar in it which is great for like clarifying my scalp and hair strands to make sure that all those chunks were gone but and eventually that was not the case <laughs> but the main thing that really caught me off guard was actually how strong my hair felt like i thought my hair would be soft and moisturized and all that good stuff but my hair felt just very strengthened so it gave me like protein treatment vibes you know the afogee two-step protein treatment kind of thing it really gave me that kind of vibe so i'm gonna put my hair up in a bun and definitely keep on watching to see the results when my hair is completely styled and air dried so this is my hair guys oh my gosh so i just put a leave-in conditioner and some gel in my hair and i don't know if you can see on camera but i still have a ton of aloe vera flakes in my hair Ugh. but anyways girl <laughs> my hair feels so so good i was really shocked how defined and popping my curls were just by using two products the aloe vera that i put on my hair for 24 hours definitely gave me like a natural protein effect which is something that i see me doing once a month for sure because my hair felt like i said strengthened i wish you could feel my hair but it's just it feels so good you have to try this for yourself guys I, i'm I, i'm serious like try this if you have hair that's prone to breakage i think your hair will really really benefit from this so yeah have you tried doing this on your hair let me know down below girl i would love to know so yeah thank you so so much for watching this video i really appreciate it and i will see you in the next one bye <music>so welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl amber in this video i'm gonna show you how i did this diy aloe vera avocado and coconut milk pre-poo treatment on my hair i made it myself because i've been trying to battle this hair loss situation that i've been fighting with for a while now and i've been trying a lot of natural remedies to stop my breakage and hair loss and this is definitely one of them so if you want to know all the details and see what it did to my hair definitely keep on watching So the main ingredient of the only three ingredient hair treatment that I'm going to create is aloe vera. By now, you definitely should know the benefits of aloe vera for naturally curly hair because it's just amazing. Aloe vera definitely promotes hair growth if you use it on a consistent basis because it contains vitamins, essential amino acids, minerals, 
and fatty acids so if you use this your hair will definitely grow but use this on a consistent basis okay so that's what i've been doing now like i've been using aloe vera on a consistent basis now and my hair has been loving loving aloe vera okay because it feels like a mild protein treatment it definitely strengthens your hair and it moisturizes your hair and it's also anti-inflammatory so all scalp issues that you may have can be healed with aloe vera so it's definitely a magical plant so i'm just cutting a piece of the aloe vera and i'm scooping out all of that goodness all of the gel i'm going to save the rest for later because i'm going to do a few more diys with my aloe vera leaf so next up, I'm going to add an avocado to this hair mask. And avocado is actually a great source of biotin. So there are vitamins inside avocados that help hair to grow stronger, longer, and healthier. And the oil inside the avocado helps to seal cuticle cells, which reduces breakage. So that's definitely something that I wanted to add in my treatment today. So the last ingredient that I'm going to use is this coconut milk powder. And this is just the same as regular coconut milk, but this is dehydrated so it's a little bit more concentrated but you can find this in any healthy food store or online and it's great to add in smoothies or in yogurt or your favorite dishes so in this case i am going to add it to my hair treatment so it comes in a very very fine powder that is water soluble so if you add this to any water-based ingredients it will turn into a coconut milky substance and coconut milk is also commonly used in cosmetic formulations for cosmetic products such as hair masks, conditioners, uh, face mask, whatever you name it because coconut has so many benefits for skin and hair. It's high in protein, high in vitamins, slows hair loss, and also restores dry hair and scalp. I'm also adding a little bit of olive oil, grapeseed oil, and jojoba oil to the mixture to make it a little bit more smooth and I'm also adding my avocados and I'm blending all of this into a smooth hair mask so yeah this is how it looks it's kind of thick but it still has this slippery effect of the aloe vera which is great for detangling that's what i wanted okay because i'm going to use this as a pre-poo the only mistake that i did was not strain the aloe vera when i blended the aloe vera at first to get rid of those little pieces so now i'm going to be stuck with little pieces of aloe vera for a couple of days in my hair but yeah it is what it is i don't mind so this is my hair um it is wash day today so my hair was in a protective style for a week and i'm going to apply this mixture to dry hair so i'm not going to do anything special to my hair just just section my hair and then applying the mixture because it has water-based ingredients in it so it's definitely easy to apply and easy to detangle because of the aloe vera and the coconut milk and the oil and the avocado it just makes it so easy to detangle my hair and it makes my hair soft like I didn't need to do much effort for detangling as you can see even though my hair was in a protective style it was really easy to manage it's the end of the weekend but I still wanna turn up yeah I still wanna turn up all I want is to go again but you ain't picking your phone up why you messing my head up any night any day let me take you away all i need is just saying yeah 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 better nights better days when you're here with me babe because you're all that i crave so i wonder where are you where are you don't hide away from me when i need you so I just finished putting this hair treatment in my hair. I'm going to let that sit for like 10 minutes or so and then I'm going to rinse it out with shampoo and follow up with a conditioner. And this is my hair the next day after I styled it last night. So last night I just put my hair in four braids. I put my leave-in in my hair, my curl defining cream, and then an oil to seal all of that goodness in. So today my hair is completely air dry. And I'm going to unravel these braids because I want to rock my hair in a super cute braid out. And one thing that I noticed immediately is how soft my hair was and how strong my hair felt at the same time. So 
that was definitely a good sign that this treatment worked i was looking for a strengthening and moisturizing treatment to put in my hair and this definitely helped with that and i feel so comfortable now to use this every time as my pre poo treatment because aloe vera on its own is already amazing but adding some oil and adding some coconut milk or an avocado to it makes it even better and also because i'm following up with a shampoo and a conditioner makes it great as well because if i would use this as a deep conditioner there will be a ton of aloe vera flakes or other things still in my hair because you know this is still foods that we put in our hair okay so yeah following up with a shampoo and conditioner definitely cleanses out all of the unwanted things in your hair and you will be left with beautiful soft strong healthy smooth naturally curly hair okay so i definitely stand by this hair treatment try it out for yourself let me know down below what is your favorite diy recipe for your natural hair i would love to know sis so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye what's up welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how i make the creamiest super healthy aloe vera and avocado hair butter so this butter is packed with nutrients and vitamins that your hair will love okay so definitely keep on watching if you're looking to grow your hair with this amazing diy product So this is a recipe that I formulated myself actually and I will put the exact measurements and instructions in the description box, okay? So the first ingredient is shea butter and this is like a rather soft butter that melts super quick and I love shea butter as a base for my hair products and also because of its moisturizing and anti-breakage properties, okay? So shea butter contains vitamin A and E along with essential fatty acids which softens dry and brittle hair and repairs Pairs, split and damage ends as well and the next ingredient I'm going to add is avocado butter so I love me some avocado butter girl this is a hard butter and avocado butter is extracted from the fruit avocado of course and avocado butter is made through a process called hydrogenation it is through this process that unsaturated fats are converted into a solid product that gives an amazing butter um, so I actually lost the footage where I was scooping out the butter and adding it in my cup but as you can see it's the white butter okay the yellow one is shea butter so avocado butter also contains vitamins minerals and antioxidants that can help keep your hair strong and healthy and the next star of the show is aloe vera butter and I know you probably thought I was going to take out an aloe vera leaf I just put it in my product but no since that's the worst thing you can do when it comes to formulating a product okay this butter is actually a very runny butter as you can see because it contains coconut butter slash oil and a good amount of aloe vera juice okay so this butter is produced by infusing aloe vera juice into refined coconut oil or coconut butter and to accelerate accelerate and complete the extraction the mixture is heated up to a certain temperature and then the the product is cooled and the thick butter is formed into a smooth butter like this as you can see so that's why it comes in a flask and that's why i have to pour it in in my cup okay so in summertime this butter is rather runny and in winter time this is like a very solid butter so yeah it's pretty interesting and i love to formulate with this ingredient I'm also adding some jojoba oil. This is rich in vitamins and minerals that nourish hair, including vitamin C, B, and E. It has copper in it and zinc. And because it strengthens hair, it is also thought that jojoba oil can prevent hair loss and promote hair thickness which is a good thing, right? That's why I'm adding it. And next up is sweet almond oil. Not only does it help with hair strands, hydrating hair strands, it also um, has amazing benefits for the scalp as well. It delivers intense moisture that prevents hair from drying out. And also vitamin E that will prevent my butter from going rancid important <laughs> so i'm also adding a few drops of an all natural cosmetic fragrance oil i chose this one with an oriental scent of amber and vanilla <laughs> my name okay it smells so good okay but I, you can use 
like any essential or fragrance oil that you like, okay? So this is how the mixture looks like. Normally I would just like combine all of my ingredients all in one bowl, <laughs> but because my scale was acting up, I had to measure most of my ingredients separately. So yeah, just don't make un unnecessary dishes like I did. Just, you know, put them all together. It's so much easier. So the next step is to melt the butters and the oil in Aubin Marie style. So I put my cup in a boiling pot of water and that preserves the nutrients and vitamins and it doesn't burn my formula. So definitely don't put this in the microwave or put this straight onto the fire because it will definitely mess up your formula and it will just remove all the healthy vitamins and nutrients from your hair butter. Okay, so once all your butters and oils are melted and well combined, um, I put them in a bowl and I let it cool off in the fridge until it becomes solid, okay? Just make sure to check it every once in a while that the butter doesn't become rock hard like mine again. Um, I left it in a little too long and that makes the whipping process just a bit harder and messier than normal. It's no problem, okay? It's, it's okay, but it just makes it a little bit more difficult, but it's okay, okay? Um, I use an electric whisk to whip up my butter and I feel like this is definitely the best tool to whip up small batches of hair butter. Um, if I want to whip up like a big patch, batch of hair butter, I would definitely use my big KitchenAid, okay? I definitely don't recommend using a hand whisk because that will take a lot of time and your arms will hurt like crazy. Don't use a blender, don't use a food processor, don't use a stick blender because that's just not the same, okay? And not to forget, I also recommend whipping the butter in a big bowl as it increases volume the longer you whip. As you can see, I started off with like a small batch kind of, but it will definitely be doubled in volume once I'm done whipping. And this is how the end product looks like. A super fluffy, nutrient and vitamin rich aloe vera and avocado hair butter. So I actually have been using this butter um, for months now on my hair and as a sealant and for my protective hairstyles and my hair just loves it, okay? The texture is just amazing, it melts quickly and a little bit goes a long way. So I use it on my daughter's hair as well. She is a toddler, two and a half years old and girl, her hair is definitely longer and stronger right now since I've started using it. I've started using it since she was, I think like one year or something like that since she started to grow out her hair. So yeah, um, but um, I'm going to show you how I use this product on my hair in my next video. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that, okay? And I've gotten the question a few times already if I sell this product, if I wanna make it for them and they're gonna pay me, you know? And you know, I've, I've really been thinking about it because it's just an amazing product, okay? This is not like a scam or anything. This is just so much better than just regular shea butter on your hair as a sealant for your hair. Like, girl, this really helps with preventing breakage and retaining length. And also because, you know, these ingredients that I used are not available everywhere. I use specific sources. I'm not gonna, you know, put my direct sources because the sources that I use are from wholesalers that I work with. So I'm not going to expose my sources, obviously, because I'm planning to do this in the future, maybe. But I can definitely put the links of where I uh, would also buy my products. Also legit products. I'm gonna do some research for you guys. Uh, uh, so you can make this at home, but some people just don't want to buy uh, all these ingredients, these raw materials, because they are pretty expensive, especially the aloe vera butter. Like, it's not just a simple butter, right? So let me know what you think down below in the comment section of purchasing this butter, maybe. And let me know if you want to try this recipe at home. Let me know if you tried it. And yeah, 
let me know if you liked it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate it and I will see you in my next one. Bye bye. Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I am going to show you how I use fresh aloe vera in my wash day routine to make my hair longer, stronger, to retain length, to grow out my hair, to make my hair soft and shiny. So if you wanna see all my hair growth secrets, then keep on watching. So I just cut a aloe vera leaf and in my previous video, I showed you guys how I cut my aloe vera. Click the link here on the screen if you have not already seen that video. And this is basically what I'm gonna put on my hair, the fresh raw gel from the inside. Oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing. I've been using it for almost a month now. And girl, let me tell you, I've been seeing great results so far. Like my hair is definitely getting more manageable. I see a reduce in breakage and my hair is so soft and shiny all the time so I'm going to do my hair treatment first I'm going to wet my hair using this Jamaican black castor oil water this is my new favorite because it has vitamin C and E in it and then I'm going to put the raw gel on my damp hair okay so now I'm going to just poke a little bit more holes in it because if you do that more gel releases and you can continue putting the fresh aloe vera gel on your hair that way you get the most out of your aloe vera leaf and because of the slippery slimy gooey consistency it's so easy to detangle your hair afterwards so what I always do is apply my aloe vera gel on my hair and then I go over to detangling my hair with my Michelle Mercier brush okay and as you can see my hair is already looking soft and moisturized and shiny so I'm loving this treatment okay definitely try to do this before you wash your hair with shampoo you will definitely see a difference and I'm a little late to the party because I just started to use this on my hair <laughs> I don't know why I waited so long but I I'm happy I did cuz girl <laughs> Okay, I just finished applying the aloe vera to my hair. We are not done with the treatment because now I'm going to put some as I am dry and itchy olive and tea tree oil on my hair because I suffer from a lot of dandruff and this oil is perfect to lift those little flakes off my scalp and it's really refreshing and it feels like tingly on your scalp. It feels really good so that's what I like to apply on my hair as well and I massage my scalp very well and I am just applying a little bit more aloe vera on my edges because I want to grow back my edges long and strong sis so that's what I'm doing now and when that's done I just let that sit onto my hair for about an hour and after an hour when my hair is completely dried up I am going to hop in the shower and wash my hair so first I just quickly rinse out the aloe vera and oil treatment that I put on my hair and now I'm going to shampoo with my Shea Moisture Make It Last Wash and Go Shampoo but I'm going to leave all the products that I use down below in the description box so definitely check that out and I'm going to really thoroughly cleanse my scalp first because you know the oil that I put on my hair that was a lot so I just want to make sure like all the product buildup and flakes are lifted off my scalp and then I just rinse that out and sometimes I go for a second shampoo but this time I didn't because you know my hair was feeling pretty clean afterwards so now I'm using my favorite conditioner as well to quickly detangle my hair again and I let that sit for like five minutes so my hair can really absorb the conditioner and the moisture with all the steam and the shower going on I don't know it just feels really good on my hair so when that's done I also rinse that out and now it's time to style my hair and if you know me, you know that I always do protective hairstyles on my hair because I'm a busy mom and I like to get my hair out of the way during the day. So, okay, yeah, okay. She agrees, guys, protect your hair. Do protective hairstyles. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry guys. Okay, so now I'm applying my leave-in conditioner 
And you know, I've been loving As I Am products lately because you know, their leave-in conditioner that I'm using now is amazing. It leaves my hair so soft. And I'm just quickly detangling my hair again, you know, to really distribute all the products. So now I'm using my Double Butter Cream. You know, this is my favorite cream to moisturize my hair. It's so thick and rich and great for protective hairstyles and moisturizing your hair. And lastly, I am going to apply a little bit of this Shine and Hold Control Glue on my hair. And you guys saw me apply all these products on this section. And that's because that's what I always do before twisting my hair. I apply my products first on the section and then I proceed to twist, okay? I don't apply the products on all these little mini sections because that's extremely time consuming and ain't nobody got time for that, okay? So right now I'm doing like kind of small section. This is smaller than I'm used to because, you know, I was feeling myself <laughs> during that time. I was like, you know, let me do this bomb ass mini twist hairstyle. But normally I do twists way bigger than this, okay? So yeah, doing this method to twist my hair saves me so much time and that's definitely something that I need, time. <laughs> because there's not enough hours in the day, sis. So by doing these kind of protective hairstyles, my hair has been growing like crazy for years now. And that's like one of my hair growth secrets. I don't touch my hair a lot. My hair is out of the way all the time. But if I do manipulate my hair, I do it carefully. I use amazing products. And now since recently, the aloe vera as well. And you know, my hair has been thriving ever since for all these years. So girl, you need to try this hair routine out because this promotes hair growth and length retention 100%, okay? And we're all done. Yes, I finished twisting in about 50 minutes, which is okay for me. You know, these were small twists and I have a lot of hair, but the results are amazing. These twists are so pretty. My hair is soft, shiny, strong, moisturized, you know, all of that goodness. So this will last me for about 10 days and then I proceed to do this whole routine all over again. I do a pre-poo treatment with the aloe vera and the oil, then I wash my hair and then I do another protective hairstyle. So yeah, that's my routine, my hair growth routine. I hope you guys learned something from this video. So thank you so much for watching this and I will see you in my next video. Bye.